you know, I think people behind CPRA would take the position that um, it stops all behavioral advertising and it stops retargeting. And the reason they take that position is because instead of sell, we have sell and share. And we have a definition of cross contextual behavioral advertising that really does look like it's designed to stop OBA um, third party advertising. It's not 100% clear to me, however, and I would make the argument that it, it's not intended to stop first party advertising. And the definition of cross context, context behavioral advertising is targeting of advertising to a consumer based on the consumer's personal information obtained from the consumer's activity across businesses, distinctly branded websites, applications, or services, right? So any information a first party has about you, they can still advertise to you based on that because it's not their activity across businesses or differently branded websites. So when it gets to the question of retargeting, Maureen, you come to visit my, I'm, you know, obviously I'm a law firm, but my, one of my clients' websites, you give certain information to them. They have a variety of different sites. They know things about you. They want to target advertising to you. Again, they send you a text message, fine, that's not cross-contextual behavioral advertising. It's only about what you do on their site. They send you an email, not cross-contextual behavioral advertising. When they find you on Twitter and say, go to Twitter, find me Maureen, and they find you and they get you a Twitter message, it's not cross-contextual behavioral advertising. The information they have about you is from one context, their site. They only learned it about you and from you and no other site. Why can't they retarget you? I don't see why the CPRA necessarily blocks that. You'd have to say the platform is the other context, but that doesn't make sense. Verizon is not the other context when we send you a text message and your email service provider isn't the other context when we send you an email. So I'm not 100% convinced that the CPRA as written stops retargeting on a true platform. On a publisher site, maybe, but on a platform site, I'm not sure. 